Goats back in Momba Zoo. How are you? What's going on? What's happening? Couple things today. One, this is like a matte finish on this paint. We need to get clear coat and we need a new color because this is horrific. And these are coming off today, the eyelashes. And we got to install this limited slip diff. But first of all and foremost, I'm going to go down. Turn this. How do you turn this on? There we go. Turn this key on here. Take these barrels down and make sure my Merple Serpal production is, is doing all right. Whoa. Because we definitely need to make sure we're not running out of space because that continues to happen. <laughs> I'm probably not producing as much Merple Serpal as I was before, but I'm having more fun doing other things other than just running around looking a fool. Oh, geez. Excellent. Okay. Oh. Okay, excellent. I hope this is uh, recording already. It looks a little weird, but I guess we'll find out when it's done. Okay. I really don't care. All right, let's put this on here, and let's just pop out. How are we doing in here? Uh, we're full here. We're full there, and we need to unfill it. How is this doing? Oh, it's running. It's fine. Let's just get this cleared up here. Okay, that's not how you do that. And open, please. So I went and built a new computer today because you guys always want to know this kind of stuff why is this door did i leave this door before yeah so i went and built a new computer today and i'm not going to tell you the specs because i know nobody cares about that stuff so i'm not going to worry about it i'm kidding i know everybody wants to know so it is because everybody will ask um it is a oh wait a minute sorry i just want to grab one of these so it is a 12900 ks uh there we go. I'll put you in here, right? After I, after apparently I'm going to draw. God damn it, you fool scapegoat. So anyway, yes, it's a nine, it's 1200 KS on a um, gigabyte motherboard. Now, normally I'm not the biggest fan of gigabyte, but the last one I've had, because I had to, last time I built a computer, I had to uh, just pick it because it's all they had at the time. And it's been rock solid and caused me zero problems. So I'm, I'm going to just... Hopefully go with that and we'll call it a day and everything should be, we got to do a, geez, we got a couple of these here, but we can't really do anything with them at all. Okay. You can go over here now. I want to drain this as much as possible before we uh, go anywhere. Eh. So let's see here. What's in there? 120. This will clear it out mostly. Perfect. Okay. Now we can stack these up because we got about a bajillion of these. Is a bajillion a number? Well, it is now. We're calling it a number. It's a new number we've invented. Like a Googleplex, but a bajillion ten or er, dash org. What other way? It doesn't matter. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing great. I'm so glad to be playing this again. By the way, and I don't want anybody to get excited, I decided to do a face reveal. I'm lying to you, so stop getting excited. I told you not to get excited. We're even listening. Seriously. I downloaded Satisfactory because everybody keeps telling me you should play Satisfactory. You got to play Satisfactory, they say. So I downloaded it, got it up and running, and, and then I, I started playing it. And I figured I'm going to give this about 10 minutes because I don't like to play games too much before I do them. I just want to make sure they run well if I'm going to record them, and I don't know. And I'm not sure I'm going to record that one because it, it, it's a time sink. Holy schnickerdoodles at a time sink. But I'm a little obsessed. I got to say, good call. Whoever recommended that, good call because about... 200 of you have recommended that over time. And I'll tell you, if one more person tries to convince me to use this spray on my car, they're going to get murdered. I'm going to find out where you live and I'm going to have to kill everybody. No, I'm kidding. I would never hurt anybody for that. That's funny. All right. So we're just going to bring in a new barrel. Here we go. And this will put this one under here and this can satisfy the purple circle gods for now. Okay. Just there we go. Just stay there. Thank you. So we have three there. This is empty. Uh, it's Saturday. I'm not sure the store is. I always forget if the store is open on Saturday. I know it's not open on Sunday. But I think a new paint color is definitely a must. Uh, and I think we're going to try something a little bit different, I think. See, I'd love to get more parts, but I'm kind of out of money at the moment. Now, I get money tonight. And then we're going to come back and install that limited slip diff because it needs to happen. Like, I think he's there today, but I don't have the money to buy anything. So, the, the, the vendor guy, oh God. There we go. Jeez, I'm really sailing. 
There we go. Oh, so remember I was telling you, like, it feels weird. It's handling funny, and I couldn't figure out why. I figured out why. So it was actually handling funny because usually when I record this game, I drop the frame rate down to on my monitors and everything to 60 frames a second, and I, and I play it at 60 frames a second. I just records better that way. I'd forgotten the last few times to change it, so it was running at like 144. And so it made it more responsive. I was used to the little bit of a delay in it. <laughs> so now that I've switched it back, seems all right. Haven't had any problems. And this works out great, good for everybody. Coming through, look out, bud. This thing has the worst brakes. I wish you could upgrade the brakes on this. And actually, this is one I wouldn't mind having in an automatic, to be honest. Just a work truck. Is it, oh, there are people in there today. Let's uh, stop it in here. Let's break on. Turn this off. All right, excellent. Now, we need fuel, so we might as well get fuel while we're here. But we're going to mix a new color because I feel like we need it. And I think we should get two at least. Okay, we're going to fill this up. Come on, baby. Fill up all the way. Yeah, so that dude wasn't here. I thought he was there on... Maybe it's... Well, what is what is with this frame rate right now? What happened? Well, it's just dying right there. Okay, whatever. Cool. And we are good. All right. I'm glad I haven't had to fill up gas cans in a while. Okay, let me in here. What's up? Um, Oh, how, what's up? Ooh. What's going on, guys? Are you happy? Blah, blah. Okay. Now, I need to talk to you oh, to make sure oh, our, oh, our oh, friendships oh, are all good. I don't have I 70 grand. I got 800 bucks, bud. So paint we're going to get, but I don't want really want tint. I don't want this chair. Um, Because I hate it. Uh, We're going to go in here and mix a paint. And we're going to find a good color. Ugh, that's purple. I really am I'm stuck on blues lately. You know what? Let's pay homage. Homage? Homage? Let's pay homage to the color on my Satsuma in um my summer car. Oh yeah, we need a clear. So we'll grab what the What's this? What happened? What is this? 0D EEA. 04D EEA. 04D EEA. Well, I spent 30 bucks on black paint I can't use. Great. Thanks. So let's just toss this out the door for a sec. And I think we're going to need some clear coat because we never did clear coat the last time. I'm not sure how to clear coat in this game, but we're going to, what is this now? Mm, matte, clear, white. Let's get clear. Ooh, belle, 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 so. Yeah, bell, 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 so. Okay, we only got one, so we're going to make it work. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Ooh, underglow. People have been bugging me to put underglow on it. Don't, don't you guys find that kind of cheesy? You don't find that kind of cheesy? Underglow? Like, I'm not 12. I'm 14. All right, so let's put this in here. We're going to pay an homage, like I said, to the My Summer Car Car, the Shitsuma. And we're going to put this in here like this, and we're going to get this, this this frame rate in town just tanked on me suddenly. I wonder what's going on. I don't have a lot of crap laying around the world, because sometimes that'll happen. But whatever. All right, so we're going to go home. A little bit of frame drops here and there doesn't bother me. It shouldn't be dropping too much. Like, I got a killer system right now. I don't know. Like, okay, so just, just so you know, like it's not like I'm upgrading because I have some old computer. I got a... Uh, my current setup is a 5950X, which is going to go to books. Because when her, she uses my old computer, and when its graphics card went kaput, I bought her a 3060 Ti, which is good for the game she plays, and when she messes around with me once in a while. So now she's going to have uh, this 5950X with the 3060 Ti, because I'm going to scavenge my graphics card out of this, which is a 3080 Ti for anybody who cares. So... I bought it at the height of the graphics card uh, shortage and got it for under uh, MSRP. <laughs> so I, I just saw it there and it was under MSRP and I was like, yep, I'm wasting money today. <laughs> then that's how I ended up with it. 
But yeah, it was, uh, well, it, you know what? It, people say, like, I read all the reviews, like, it's not really worth it. It's not really worth it. But it really has been, uh, like, a massive upgrade compared to my 2080 Ti. Like, a massive upgrade. Like, in some cases, like, 30 to 50% uplift in a lot of games. There we go. And stop. Oh. Perfect. Let's, uh... Top out for a second. How are we doing for everything else? We're doing great. We're doing wonderfully. All right, so here we go. We're going to give a little shoot down of paint. And I know I've done this color. My truck is already this color. But I kind of like it. I'm into the blues. Lately, I'm into the blues. Because it's just the Satsuma always, the color always, like, I loved it. Now, this is a little lighter than the Satsuma, but I didn't want to make it exactly the same as my truck. That would be ridiculous. Pretty much the exact same color as my truck. So it's kind of ridiculous. But I want to paint the roof black eventually, I think. What also I like about this too is if you forget to uh um like not quite get the color matched completely, it still works fine. Oh, that's not working. Come here. There we go. And we're good there. And then this. Hey, stop talking about my uh, my wonderful bumper. <laughs> yeah, but I think I'm going to paint the roof black, get the carbon fiber hood. Uh, I, I doubt this color will stay. I think I'm going to change it relatively regularly because I'm just that kind of guy. Oh, there we go. And right now we have the money to be able to do that. So, Bloop. oh, wait a minute. You're welcome. Here you go. Dude, oh, wh where'd it go? Well, now it's just gone. What? Okay. What a, whatever game. I'm not here to argue with you. Give me this. Okay, I do like the DuckTales spoiler better, but it's way, it's way too aggressive. So don't worry. Um, Put your paint codes in the, in the comment section. I'll pick one and we'll change it every episode to that paint code. Let's do it like that. Now you can't just come in there and then say like, oh, you know, that color from uh, the Dodge from... 1973, the uh, slime green or whatever. No, you need the actual code in the game or close to it. The hex code. The hexadecimal code. You know what? I like it better than the color it was. And even though it's the same color as my truck pretty much, I don't care. We're keeping it for now. Now, where's the clear? We're going to paint the clear on this. Because it was one, it was only one door that was really the problem. Now, I've painted it. I'm not sure how to tell oh here we go oh there it is there's a gloss meter 255 255 255 how did this not quite get the same color Well, that's neat. There's a gloss meter. That's really cool. Is this like metallic or something? I don't even know. This one here. What did I see there? It was the rear bumper wasn't quite the right color. All right, give me that. I thought I got that. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Okay, that fixes that. Now. Everything's good there. So now we just got to install the rear diff, which I think we can pretty much do with just two rear jack stands in without too much trouble, I think. Oh, the jack stands were such a good idea. I'm so glad he added those. These are the best. These are the best. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. So we're going to need my, my wheelie thing here. Going to slide across the floor. Going to take somebody and punch them in the balls right now. Okay, so we're still rocking the stock suspension in the rear, which is giving us a little bit of a, a rake that I am not a fan of. I don't like rake in cars. Um, it's just, ugh. On a street car? Like on a drag car, fine. But on a street car? Ugh. Ugh. Okay, very strong opinions about rake. Okay, oh, I should, you're right. Someone said I should bring the magnetic thing with me, and they're probably right. Oh, that's one of my springs. 
All right, this is, oh yeah, we gotta attach the, unattach the drive shaft, I should say. Okay, let's see, one more here. Okay, take that out, and then these two. And then we should. Okay, the welded diff can leave. Finally, God. I hate welded diffs. I'm so particular about my car parts. <laughs> now, welded diffs are on the, are like, a welded diff again, fine. If you got a, if you got a dedicated, like, um, drag, or a uh, drift car, yeah, a, a welded diff is great. Again, on the street, they'll just get you killed. So, I actually, if I have a choice, I would prefer a torsion differential, but they don't seem to have those, so... There we go. I like torsion diffs because they're very predictable, but when they lock up and not. It's not like a Detroit locker that you can hear ratcheting. I don't know if anybody here has ever driven a Detroit locker, but geez, they, they have some intensity to their locking. We should probably get this out from under here, probably, I'm guessing. There we go. And we should probably reorganize the garage at some point because, again, we have stuff laying everywhere, but this is done. So we now have a limited slip diff like we wanted from the get-go. I've been talking about it for a while. And uh, a really ugly rake on the car, but that's cool. I like a flat stance given the choice. It's like I don't like uh, bigger tires in the rear than the front. I like a square stance. Uh, it really helps with handling, believe it or not. Uh, and again, predictability in handling, especially if you've got a really good weight distribution already. You can go up here. You can go up here as well. There we go. This is going wonderfully swell. Mm. Take it for a rip, boys. What do you think? Should probably use some gas. Let's see, what do we got going on here? Okay, oh, we got a caliper. Okay, we should have another caliper laying around somewhere, but I don't see it. So let's uh, see what she does. All right, fire it up. Not bad for having 300,000 kilometers on it. Okay, yeah, this thing is intense, man. Oh yeah, oh god, oh. oh god, that was close. Okay, we need to definitely take a peek here at this tuning in this thing. Because its power band is all down low, and I think that with a car like this... Let's see here, power. Hmm... I'm going to take a bit out there. I want it to come on a little later, I think. Now, the power curve is going to go a little flat on the top. Drop off a bit. Yeah, I'm going to go like this. No, that puts too much of a bubble right there. What about like this? No, I like that. Here, maybe? Mm. It's going to have that dead spot, though. There. Let's try that. All right, boys. It's not going to be a lot of difference, but let's see what happens. Wait a minute. Actually, something else I want to check while this thing was out and about. Let's see here. Okay. So, this is the waste game. And this means that when it hits this much PSI, the wastegate lets off excessive uh, a pressure in the cylinder so you don't blow the engine apart. It started at 7 PSI. I think I may have dialed it up a little much. So I'm going to take her down to 12. See about that. Because, again, we're making more power, and it's a little ridiculous at times. So... Yeah, it's because I was spinning my tires. We need to get it off the gravel. That's the problem. Yeah, it's not bad. It handles a little better, but this, this rake is really screwing up the, the initial turn and you can feel it. It wants to walk and that's not, not what you want. It's just very, very walky, but easy to control, easy enough to control. See, see on fourth gear here, 
I'm not losing traction every two seconds. That's good. Oh, just about caught the corner there. All right, so we don't have a lot of straight road here to test this on, but I know the perfect place. Because this thing just wants to spin on the gravel, right? Yeah, she is very touchy right now. But that's okay. She was never meant to be a drift car. Okay. If that's all I wanted out of this, I would have left it. Okay. I wish she could make the steering a little less aggressive. Come on, car. She isn't handling bad, though. Oh, God. Oh, God! <laughs> no! My car! Oof. Okay, we're fine. Okay, that was fun. I want to try it from a dig, you know? I want to get, like, just from from nothing. Can I get out of here without getting it stuck? Well, sugar beets. Boy, that, uh, I didn't realize that turn was there. I'm trying to get it to see what it'll do from a dig, like, especially on... We have to ramp our way out of here. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. This looks like a road. Here we are. Perfect. Let's get around this bend right here real quick. All right. Let's see what happens. So build a little boost. I like that a little better. Off the road again. Well, okay. Yep, yep, there we go. Flip over on the wheels, please. Well, sugar beets. Well, crap. This is what I keep doing to myself. This is why I don't come down here. Oh, great. We're really in the shit right now. Okay, that's fine. That's what we gotta come along for. There we go, and then you here. Perfect, all right, let's just bring it up. Come on, baby. You got this, you don't weigh anything, come on. You're BMW, <laughs> you weigh like 45 pounds, come on. So, she's still a bit aggressive, and I think it's something we need to work on because I flipped it in the ditch here twice. So obviously, the handling's a bit off. That and the brakes still suck. We should be able to fix that with the new rear brakes. Are you not going to come out all the way? There we go. Ooh, big deep hole. That's what she said. Okay, here we go. Now don't be falling back in the hole because I don't have the parking brake on. Well, after two successful flips into the ditch. Now I know that is this are these my brakes? There we go. I know that road's around here, here it is. Alright, let's uh See I like that. It just catches second at the bottom of the RPM band. It can still use a bit of a tune, but I like it. It's it's just it's just good. I can tune it just a little more because it bogs just slightly before the turbo kicks in. And yeah, I'm still driving like a maniac. Don't judge me. So we flipped it twice, but I think it's all right. We got a dent pulling kit. We're good.
We're supposed to be doing 70. We're doing like 160. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, we should probably go check on the... Uh... Is that lightning? What is that? Well, even in second gear, it'll catch, it'll break the tires loose. Like, no problem at the high end of second gear. All right, let's pull her in here and make sure she's not too dented up. All right, so, oh, oh God, I popped the hood. So used to the truck. All right, so, yeah, handling needs a little work, but beyond that, okay, dude, sorry, I didn't mean to get you there. Lights are still on, I think. Yeah, lights are still on. All right, cool. Let's just turn these lights off. Perfect. Um, we got we need we have a need for maple syrup right now, but that's all right. I think otherwise, I like it. I think it's it's good. But look at see that rake on it, it needs to be fixed. But yeah, I'm gonna head down. Oh, how are you guys doing? By the way, a 97% potato. That's a pretty good potato. How are you guys doing? 61%. Not bad. I feel like they look like they need to be watered, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's dark. Yeah, we're fine. You go there. We gotta go check this before it gets too late. It's already 10 o'clock at night. We're in need of maple syrup, purple purple and poutine. Whoosh. The people are like, oh, you're supposed to take your ATV back there. Why? You know, I, you know actually, I, I when some people were telling me that, I timed it. You save about six or seven seconds. It's really not worth it. And the ATV's in town doing its own thing. It has its own life now. Okay, let's see. You're 100% completed. And, oh, God, we're running low on barrels. We should really just turn the lights on out here, but I haven't done that for some reason. Let's just, boop, there we go. Ah, better. The light's awfully bright. So this is good. This is, we're, ra we're raking in some dough here. This is just about out. So that'll finish that off, no problem. Yeah, good times. Let's let this finish off, and then I'll grab another one. Get it ready for day tomorrow, and we'll call it a day at this end of the yard. And it's Saturday. Oh, yeah, we're going to get our money soon. Ooh. There, I'm going to drink my maple syrup. There we go. Perfect. That'll set it up for tomorrow and row. Oh, yeah, the bears. The bears, the bears, the bears. Okay, perfect. Lights on. Let's go this way. I haven't checked my new trees yet. Besides, I like to, I like to be close to my house when I make my... I'm going to say I'm going to make $14,600. That's that's my guess. Fourteen six, fourteen six. Can we hear fourteen six? Bets in the comments below. Do I get fourteen seven, fourteen seven? We want to take fourteen seven, fourteen seven. No, not so much. Okay, let's see. Big money, big money. Twenty grand. Yes. Oh. oh, 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 oh. Yep. And now it's poutine to bedtime. Mm. Feeling it today, boys. Feeling it today. Oh yeah, there's so much going on here. We're running low on cheese curds, though. I've noticed. Let's go to sleep. Got to pick our new shirt for the morning. Oh, yeah, that's a good sleep. So it's going really good today. Other than a few flips on the road. Everything's going great. We now have $20,000. We're going to wear a pink shirt. No, it's gray. We're going to wear pink today. Uh, do we have enough poutine? It's definitely potato harvest season. We got to go get those potatoes. Just open the door, please. Thank you. Mm. How are you now? Thank you. Basket's full. This is what happens. I get. Oh, wait a minute. I should probably bring it in with me. And we can't harvest all our potatoes. Ah, oh, crap. I just realized because we don't have enough cheese curds. Son of a bitch. Okay, we got to we got to deal with this today. All right, we're gonna have to run to town and buy cheese curds real quick. Because I don't think we have enough fries or cheese curds to do everything that's in there. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Just a little more. Okay. There we go. And then we'll leave these here for a second. Um, Should we wait till this is done before we go? Probably. We're just going to go to the curd stand and buy curds, so we're not going very far. 
And here we go. Poutine from heaven. There we are. Ugh, perfect. Okay, bathtub full of poutine. A love in our hearts. Everything's going great. Now we're off. By the way, the response to my... Um, uh, what's that game called? Gold Rush video was huge. Uh, I didn't realize there was that much pent up energy to see Gold Rush. <laughs> so if you want to see more of it, like I said, always just, if you watch the videos, I do more. If not, I'm always afraid I'm going to, if I'm playing something everybody hates, then people won't want to watch it. And then people don't want to be around the channel to watch other things. So I just want to make sure, you know, that people like something, but it appears that you guys like it. So I'll, uh, maybe I'll do a poll, but I'm pretty sure that the amount of views I got for it says anything that it'll be a series that people want to see because there may be a day or two where I can't record here coming up because of me waiting on this new computer so I guess we're going to find out look I'm coming through it's cheese curd emergency baby we're in the cheesiest of situations whoa I want to enter my truck in a race there we go whoa Handles like a bag of crap. What's that out there? Does somebody else see that? No, oh, there's a light in the distance. Buying some poutine. Gonna buy some poutine. Or not buying poutine. Buying cheese curds. Local 100% Canadian milk. Which usually means there's very low hormones in them. Okay, here we go. Let's get these home. Oh, there we are. I want to see if I can see that light again. There it is. See that white spot right there? Oh, shit. We can't just leave it, can we? No, 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 no escape. You just can't leave it alone, can you? And we can do this because we got a friggin' boat. Where did I park my boat? Is it here? Is it there? Is it everywhere? I don't know. Oh, oh, the parts guy's here. Crap, we gotta stop and see him for a second. Thanks for coming out, bud. I like how they do it on the day you get paid. That's a great time. Okay, we need these, I think. Do we need those? I can't remember. We're buying them anyway. I think we needed the better brakes for the rear still. We need these rear things. Yep, we need the second one of those. Thank you. Um, we got the diff. Did we buy the race ones? I can't honestly remember. Does anybody remember? I don't know if I remember. Crap, I'm going to buy them. I may have already bought them. I, don't, I think I do have them, but I guess... Worst case, we spend $1,000 and we got 20 of those thousands of dollars, so I'm not too concerned about that. I think a carbon deck lid would be nice. I think a carbon hood would be nice. Nope, don't fall out. That's how you get scratched. There you go. And carbon fiber is a terrible thing to repair. All right, let me see. Um, we're going to buy these gauges too. Because I can. All right, here we go. Gauge, gauge, gauge. I just, I'm grabbing everything. What about wheel spacers? You guys want to run wheel spacers that go real wide on it? Maybe a 60 mil offset and a 70 mil offset. 60 up front, 70 out back. Mm. Gonna make it awkward, bud. Yeah, I'm gonna run the offset like that until I get more 70s, which he won't be until the next time he's in town, which I think is Friday. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Do we want a nitrous kit? Do, 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 do. The black bolts, eh? Yeah, we'll get a nitrous mount. Why not? I think I already have the race thing, but... Uh, the, the sway bars, but I don't honestly remember. we we'll get a bottle. Hmm. All right, let me see. What else do we need here? We got everything. I think for, other than this... Do we want the sports seat? Do you guys want sports seats? Oh my god, I don't want sports seats. Where's the bottle? I need you right now. Do I have to fill you up right now? 
Already full. Nice. Okay. Wasn't sure if it came empty or not. Um. Everything's just falling out right now, which is funny. Well, how did this one end up on the roof? All right. So let's just ignore it. I was going to go chase the light down, but now I'm not going <sighs> to. Let's just go home and install parts. I think that's the best way to handle this. Easily go home. Oops. We don't want to do any damage or lose anything. We got so much in here right now. And I'm pretty sure I bought these sway bars already. But just because I didn't want to have to make a trip back and I'm already here, I'd rather spend the grand to go, damn, that was stupid. Then mess it up and forget and be like, ugh. Yeah, we're going to run the 70 millimeter offset in the rear and we're going to run the 60 in the front. And then uh, get a 70 for the front when he's back in town on Friday, I think. But we got lots of parts here we can install, which is great. Wait a minute, I didn't need like a gauge pod thing, do I? For these, like, is there... Where do I put them? <laughs> like, is there like an A pod or an A pillar pod or something I've missed? Oh, it's a good time of day. We got a little... Little, uh, little bit of cheese curds here so we can continue to harvest our... We should harvest the potatoes first for sure. Because that seems important. So we'll harvest the potatoes, put the curds in, replant the potatoes. Okay, let's see here. Okay, turn this off. Cheese curds out, please. Nope, you're not a cheese curd. You are, though. And they got one right under my butt. Under, I'm sitting. I'm sitting on them. Oh, how squishy they are! Cheese curds are not that squishy, to be honest. There we go. My nose is so itchy right now. I just want to do something about it. Okay, take these cheese curds. I like my little house here. You know, I've never been a fan of trailer park living, but if it was just me and my cars and my my weird old computer, yeah, I think I can get on board with this. So let's uh, pick, pick. It only takes two at a time. Mostly because the basket only does two at a time. Yeah. Like the fry basket. Oh my god, I have too many potatoes. I really have too many potatoes. Okay, we're going to put this here and this here. And we're just going to chop up some fries. Because this is, you guys always want to see all the things in between. Well, here it is. Nice and slow. There we go. In she gets. Perfect. Look at this beautiful thing. You're all going to become bathtub poutine at the end of the day. There we go. What, did we get them all out? Nice. Let's go get some more while we're waiting for that to do its thing. Bloop, bloop, bloop. There we go. Basket's full. Nice. Make your dang poutine, fool. Okay, here we go. Okay. First of all, we have to bathroomize our poutine. poutine. Ugh. Got a bathroom full of poutine. Okay. Now we'll chop up some more potatoes. <laughs> this, this is the life, isn't it? Just making potatoes into poutine. Yep. I'm on board with this lifestyle, man. Not going to lie. But the car's doing good. I like it the way it's handling out right now. Uh, it just needs that front suspension. The, the, like, the rear suspension needs to go, which we now have. So that should work out lovely. We're just about done with the potatoes, guys. We got, like, what, three more rounds of potatoes? The potatoes have to get done because I'm not sure what happens to them if you leave them or if they just stay there until you harvest them or what. Okay. There we go. <laughs> this is such a long process. I love it when games are purposely frustrating. They're just like, yeah, you know what we're going to do? We are straight up going to make this terrible for you because we know you'll hate it. And this way you'll go and buy it and waste your money. All right. Here we are. There we go. 
You done there? You full? You want me? How many cheese curds? Do I have a hundred cheese curds. We've already gone through a bunch of cheese curds. Bloop, bloop, and bloop. oh yeah, damn it. <laughs> okay. And we got one more left. We'll replant. We'll come in. Ugh. All right. So we got this little potato. He went to market. All right. And then we'll replant the potatoes while we're here. Potato seeds. Here we go. The extras I'm just keeping in the shed right now. Because I, I and I got a bunch of them now. Um, but they all come back to here. We got 28 potatoes. Look at that. And we can still do this. Come on, baby. Oh, I'm seeing fry. We're just going to have to buy all the cheese curds every time we're in town now. It's ridiculous. That one's empty. How's this one? Oh, this one, it's just not quite, eh? There we go. Ooh, better make some room. Gotta hope my mother doesn't stop by and see this. I'm gonna eat that one. <laughs> I, I'm lousy with poutine. <laughs> oh no, there's more coming. Get it, get it, throw it in the bathroom. This used to make bathtub gin when uh, there was prohibition. I'm wondering if this is something similar, bathtub poutine, when we're living in a world of outlawed poutine, so... The Quebecers of the world came along and saved the day. I'm assuming that's the story. At least that's the story we're going with. Okay. Now, like I said, I'm pretty sure I have the race ones on there. But I couldn't let it go. Oh, I don't. Wait a minute. Are these... Maybe I don't have it on there. Um, okay, hang on a second. Put this thing on jack stands. Do I not have a front sway bar on this thing? Did I not put one on it? No, it was there, right? I just didn't see it. I'm blind. Okay, get under there. And up you get. All right, perfect. Let's go back under. Oh yeah, there it is. It's just it's black. Oh no, I don't have a good one. Well then. We know what we're doing. Sway bar. Okay, well, also a hood. Two hoods. And where's the front sway bar? Rear and is this the rear one? Rear. Front sway bar. This can go in real easy, like. Alright, cool. Oh, where's my slidey doohickey? Okay, here we go. Let's get under there. Jeez, I couldn't see it at first. I was like, because it was blending in with the black here. Okay, where does it attach? They can't be the only bolts, right? That's the only bolts. Perfect. Okay, well. Give me this, please. I just wish you could drop this beside you, though. <laughs> like, that'd be, that'd be nice. Let me see here. Where does this go now? This goes here. This goes here. Well, that means, probably means if the rear well, front one's that bad, the rear one's probably that bad. That's well, not too bad. All right, get rid of you. We'll slide on over here and get this, yoink. Perfect. Okay, now we'll slide over here and get this. Oh, no. Sway bars. Hold, just hold them up in progress. I just want to meet the guy who slides across the floor in his garage to go get stuff instead of standing up and getting it and then coming back. Ugh. I was just thinking if there's bolts for this, but it doesn't seem to be anything. All right. This is good. Let me up, please. Thank you. I say we go full rear end. Mm. 
Oops. Well, well it's coming off now. It will take you off. All right. So we're going to need a brake caliper. And we're going to need a strut. Right? Is that all we needed for the rear here? Oh, yeah. And the 70 millimeter spacer. At least we're going to hope for it. Okay, let's uh, let's get everything off. All right, let me see here. Do I have to take that off to go? I guess I'm going to probably have to. All right, come on. There we go. You can come off. I'm going to have to get you out. Nope, that's not what I wanted. It's your little friend here I want. Thank you. Not sure exactly what was going on there, but it happened. There we go. I think... I pulled the hub off for no good reason, but that's all right. Oh, that doesn't go go on top over that. Okay. Well, all right, that's fine. All right, so the hub's off. We got to get the. Oh, sorry, I'm scratching my face, but it's so itchy. It's just allergies are acting up like crazy. We got to get the shock absorber is detached. So we'll open this up. It's the two that hold that sway bar in, or the um, uh, what do you call that thing? The strut tower brace. So we'll just pop those out. Come on. Oh my God, just stop it. And this should come right out. Apparently not. Okay, well, maybe you gotta remove the whole sway bar. Oh, come on. Why can't I reach the other side, but not this side? What the? There we go. This is this is being really dickheadish right now. Oh my god, I missed a bolt. Oh my god, is there a bolt in the other corner that I missed? Oh my god. Oh my god. Give me my stupid friggin' sway bar. You f are you. Oh my god. I'm so mad. I couldn't be any more angry. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm gonna kill somebody. Something's gonna die. Somebody's gonna die. Oh my god. Oh my god. Eh. I'm just. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. Yep. It's being lost. I can feel it. You stupid son of a goddamn fucking... Okay, okay. You're okay. You're okay, guy. You're okay, guy. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. This can all go back on. It was all a friggin' dream. You're stupid. Is all... You know what? I get it. You want some maple freaking syrup? Well, go get you some maple freaking syrup, all right? Just give me a second. I wasn't expecting this. To take four hours, all right? So just relax. You turd. Jeez. Okay, hang on. Don't I have one in my car? I usually keep one in my car. Oh, there it is. Right there. There. Happy look. You made me waste my car syrup. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I have a, this is set at 27. 25. We're going to make it completely neutral. All right. That's great. Okay. This is good. Okay. I'm just a little upset. I'm just a little upset. You're fine. You're fine, guy. You're fine. Everything's going to be great. Everything's going to be grand. Everything's going to be wonderful. Oh, 
Oh, we gotta put the hub back on. Wheel bearing. There we go. Where are you? 70 millimeter spacer. You're, you're gonna go on too, but I need that first. <sighs> Yep, that goes there, and then you can go there. Excellent. At least you have to do the pads. Okay, so that's on. And then we'll put the wheel spacer on. Okay. Put that on afterwards. Tire and go back on. Oh, geez, look at it sticking out so far. Okay. This is fine. This is all good. This is what everybody wants. Okay. And we just got to torque those down after we put the hub bolt back in. The axle bolt. Oh, you don't want to go in, eh? Oh my God, let me, oh, I saw it. There we go. Okay. So that side's good. Well, as good as it's gonna be. And this can go back on, all right. And what do we want to do here? Wheel bearing. Oh, wait a minute. I think I forgot to put the... So how does that attach then? Oh, now you're tired too, eh? Well, that's great. Where's my other caliper? There it is. I feel like those shock absorbers... ...are not in. I know you're tired, bud. All right, let's see here. Where's that one? Well, we better crawl around underneath this. We're never going to be able to see it. All right, let me see. I just want these shocks to go in. God, every time I put something on there, I got to get, like, you know what I should just park the car a lot closer to this? Then I wouldn't have these problems. All right, where is it? There we go. So those are, like, I feel like, Like, does anybody else feel like this should be attached to something? Like, what does it look like on the front? Does it just, f like, flail around in midair like that? Yeah, these aren't attached either. Dude, I get it. You're a little bit tired. Get over yourself. Good Lord. Fine. We'll go over bedtime. Jeez. Like, I just I just want to just want to complete the thing, bud. I understand it's Monday. It's just... Everybody hates Mondays. I get it. What are you, freaking Garfield? All right, look. This episode's getting long, dude. Oh, God, I'm going to put an angry color on. I'm going to put an angry color on. Right now. You just know that uh, my maple syrup is overflowing right now, but I'm too busy working on this freaking car. Son of a gun. Okay, let's see. 
So that must just go like that then. I don't see anywhere else those can attach. The big one goes in the middle. Perfect. We'll get the tire on, I guess. And then we'll grab this and we'll do this up. All right, so. Okay. Put this on. Okay, I'm kind of curious to where these other bolts are from. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, never mind. I think I know. So that puts that on. Close this. This needs the spoiler, right? That's only two. So I got at least three bolts that are missing. So we better go hunting for them because... Where do the where do the holes do they go? Okay, let me see here. Let's grab one of these. There, that works. Perfect. Now did this side get all that crap back in it? Yeah, I think we're good there. You're at twenty five. You're at 25. No, now you are. What do I have the ride height at on this up front here? Let me see. Okay. Okay, spring force is at 20. Ride height is at 25. It won't let me kind of see that one for some reason. Let's see, 20, 25. Let's just make sure that's good. Let's see here, 20. Mm. Yeah, right height's at 25. I was kind of want to know what my dampening rates and everything are because I can't seem to. That one I can't adjust. This I can. So bump step, bump force is 25. I'm assuming it's 25 on this side too. Let's just double check that. 25. I just want to zero it all out and then start from there. I'm probably going to have to do that in the next episode, but we're going to get some of these other parts on first. 25. I just think like I said, I've got to double check. 25. All right, this is all good. All right. Now, I feel like the spoiler should be black to go with the... Uh, look how far those stick out. That looks awful. It's great. Okay. So now we got to put wheel spacers on the front. And off this tire comes. Do I, do I already have wheel spacers on there? I think I do. Open up. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Because everything else up front has already been upgraded, so I don't have to worry about that. This can go back on. Like I said, I want to get a um, 70 up front, too. Make it really wide for the track. I wish there was, like... Wheel arch cover kind of things to make it less pronounced, you know, like a wide body kit kind of idea. 
Especially if you get the guys to do it for a bunch of money, you know, or actually, you know what? I'm fine with riveting it on. I had a rivet gun. I'll rivet on my own shit. I don't mind. <laughs> because race car. All right, you go on. You go on. We'll get the thing. We'll strap that down. This is on now. Perfect. Okay, what else did we get? Oh, the hood. Get this up and running. Oh, yeah, got to remember to take those off. All right. Um, take this. Sometimes it makes you. Sometimes you can do it from a mile away, and other times you got to get super close to get this stuff done. Oop. All right. Take this off here. Put this over here for now. Take this carbon fiber hood. We're just doing this for the weight saving. Unless it's fake carbon fiber. Do you think it's fake fi fi carbon fiber? Like real carbon fiber is ridiculously expensive. That's what someone should figure out to do. Get the carbon out of the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide, turn it into carbon and oxygen. And then uh, make carbon, take the carbon, turn it into uh, carbon fiber. Here's your million dollar idea. Tom Scape sent you. Oh. Perfect, perfect. That's good. Now. Uh, should we do this today? I might save this. If this is going to go in the trunk. But I'm trying to see where the nitrous goes for it. Because I don't have any bolts. I think I'm out of bolts to hold it down. I think I'm going to buy some bolts. So we may be doing that next time. Oh, really? We got one. I guess one can hold it in. <laughs> hold it in for now. All right. Well, whatever. Just get in there. There we go. We got one bolt holding it in. I should never thought about that. You run out of bolts. You're running out of bolts. Go. There we go. Put this tank in there. Perfect. Pressure is. Well, we're good. All right. Excellent. We just need one more bolt for that. But anyway, you know, the easy way to spot a bolt that's just laying around if you want one is this. But I don't think we have any extra bolts. So if we're going to do this, we're going to need extra bolts. Now, this is kind of, I'm curious about, where do these go? Well, I found it. Where'd it go? Why, why, why did it just connect in the nut? Oh, God, a mounted tack? That's so tacky. That is not even a pun. Oh, it's so freaking tacky. I'm assuming we don't have to bolt that down. It just kind of pops on. Let's get all the gauges because we need all these lame ass gauges for sure. Where does X go? Sure. Boost gauge goes in. And we need. <sighs> Where do you go? I don't know where that is. Oh, there it is. Okay. And then uh, speedometer. Okay. Um, well, I thought those gauges were going to be more of a fight, but they seem all right. Uh, what? Okay, what ha what happened? Why did why did everything fall off? This is awkward. <laughs> I don't understand why everything fell off.
Why did this all fall off? Did I, I tightened it, right? Okay. Um, confused. I'm out of bolts. Like this should, this should stay on. No problem. Okay, well. So if anybody's got any idea why my wheels exploded off, I would love to know. Because at the moment, I have no idea why. But you guys under here, I guess. Will you fit there? Yeah, you will. Okay, excellent. You can go there. I should probably keep the OEM parts, you know, just in case. All right. So this has been a long episode and I'm sorry. <laughs> and I should really go check out my maple syrup. Okay. So look at, look at how wide it is. <laughs> okay. It's great. We won't be able to drive it this episode, but we'll definitely take her out again. Get, get out of the way. Uh, because reasons. Now I got a little pile of junk here. Anybody wants the spare parts? Oh, that'd be so cool if you could like put them on online and then sell them for some to somebody. <laughs> like a marketplace? That'd be great. All right, here we go. Not for real money, obviously, just for in-game money. But yeah. It's five o'clock. Dude, we've we basically blew the whole day. Does this need watering? Are you guys okay? You're fine. All right, I think we're going to have to run out down here. We've got to check this. This is definitely full. Like, I've, I blew my chance to go take the maple syrup in today, 100%, because I'm an idiot. So, because I was messing with that thing, I couldn't figure out there's a third bolt at the top of that uh, strut tower brace. And now I'm just mad. <laughs> now I'm just like, well, you know what? You're a stupid son of a bitch. Aren't you scapegoat? What's wrong with you? You loser? Jeez. So basically, now we got uh, so many barrels to take tomorrow. Can we even get all these barrels in there tomorrow? Who knows? <sighs> Excellent. But I'm going to end this episode here because I'm not going to make you guys suffer through this. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment, maybe subscribe. Maybe tell your friends to subscribe. Get your dog to subscribe, your horse, your cow, whatever it is. And if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching, love. Ape. Every serp I serple? Is that, is that a thing? Yeah, it is now. Scapegoat! Out. <laughs>